Hello and um, welcome to my channel. Remember, I am doing maths in science, and this morning specifically, I want to do percentages. By the way, I hope you're still revising and keeping positive. Thank you for so many of you who have left comments for me. I have even had a call all the way from Kent, and um, I've had lots of uh, people say to me online, "How do they find? Do, can they find my link?" And the fact that the videos actually helping their youngsters to revise. Please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Those who have asked me questions, I've tried to answer. And if you ask yours, I'll answer as well. So really quickly this morning, this is a typical uh, calculation question in uh, science. This is from the uh, AQA chemistry paper one. They are, that's the assessment papers that have been released by the AQA exam board. This is a question in, in, in chemistry and in C1. Now, if you look at this question, it says figure two shows the structure of an alloy. And a student said to me, what's an alloy? Just as a quick, uh, uh, just a quick overview, an alloy is a mixture of two or more metals, sometimes mixed with other materials. That's an alloy. It's a mixture of metals. You can also mix um, other uh, non-metals with it sometimes to make it strong. The whole point of making alloys is to combine the properties of two metals. It's a very quick example. If you, you know, um, iron is a very strong metal, but it rusts um, easily. If you were to take aluminium that doesn't rust very easily, but not um, as strong, if you were to combine them as an alloy, you have a very strong material that would combine the property of the strength that you have in iron and the non rustiness of aluminium that's just to give you an example that's how we also have gold plated and silver plated uh, metals and uh, that we use for jewelry and things like that so that's an alloy quickly but this particular question that i'm focusing on is in terms of how to work out the percentage because on the other section of the question it says what percentage of metal x is in metal y now what you have to do metal x they have only two atoms there the, these two red ones and then you have to carefully count how many of the y that you have on the paper is 25 of them but i have just drawn this quickly this morning without counting so i'll just count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six 27 28 29 30 31 so i have drawn a total of 31 or okay so you need to work out the percentage of metal x so as you have two of that and 31 of that you have a total of 33 so what you do the one that you're asked to work out the percentage of you pop it over the total and you multiply it by 100 because percentage means out of a hundred and remember you allowed a calculator so i am doing this to always prove to you that you allow the calculator or remind you you allow the calculator and we use a calculator so we can do two times 100 is 200 divided by 33 so two um 200 divided by 33 if my calculator would allow me this morning yes it's doing it all right there you go it's going to give us 6.06 percent i'm going to rub off the other numbers there so it's very clear 6.06 percent the question did not say whether to leave it to one significant figure and remember i did significant figures if you were asked to reduce this to just two significant figures it will be 6.1 uh, because uh, you you would uh, need to reduce that to one and that would be 6.1 but if you were asked to reduce it to just one significant figure then it would just be 6.0 or 6 for sure if you were not told specifically this question does not say specifically you just leave it like that lastly another question as i remember that was asked on this paper was what makes this alloy stronger than the normal metal if it was just metal why why would this why would this new um, alloy be stronger and the answer to the question is because because these atoms are have different shape and they have different size compared with the normal metal y it therefore means that it will reduce the ability of metal y atoms to slide over each other 
so it will stop it from sliding over each other that way it would keep it in place or in position and make it a stronger metal because the sizes of the metal that have been mixed into it and the original metal are different now from just answering those questions it's three questions by talking about what an alloy is doing the percentage calculation and answering the importance of alloy you can rake in a good five marks from just that question and it's really that simple it's a new day it's a new week whatever you do keep keeping positive and keep revising like i say i always mention you in my prayer those that are watching all the young people that are writing their exams please parents and carers let's continue to give them support let's continue to encourage them tell them they can do it they've got everything that they need to do well in this gcse exam which is just <laughs> in fact is so close now my students are taking their first paper on the 15th of may is really around the corner but i know that they can do it i believe in the young people that i work with they are the next generation we've got to do everything to equip them to be able to take over have a very beautiful day and god bless you